Hey guys, Nathaniel from Arts Insight here. And today I am reviewing LEGO City Set 4430 Fire Transporter. Now this set comes with three minifigures, three instruction books, 522 pieces and retails for $49.99 US. I'm not sure you could find it for that anymore though because it is what would be considered a vintage set or a discontinued set, which means LEGO no longer sells this product. That means that wherever you're gonna go, it'll probably be more expensive than the original price. That being said, sets nowadays that have 500 plus pieces are not gonna be only $50 anyway. To, for example, the new Space Port, I believe is what it is, set from this summer, is only 480 something pieces and it retails for $120 US. So very pricey for that one. I mean, that's just outrageous, but you get an idea of price inflation. So I will start off with the three minifigures here, starting off with firefighter number one. You'll see he has got the uh, older, slightly older style fireman's outfit, but still new enough. This is from the forest fire theme. And, actually no, this might be from even before that, I'm not quite sure. So you can see he's got his little stripes and colors on him, just, you know, bright yellow vest so you can see him. A little utility belt there, uh, working hard, sweating face, he also comes with the mask and the oxygen tank, as well as the red firefighter helmet. He does have the standard printing on the back that the rest of these guys do, so I will not bother showing you it on this particular guy. Uh, moving on to our next minifigure, this is that guy is the firefighter. This is the truck driver minifig, generic beard face. Again, he's got the stripes. There we go. And he's also got the glasses as well as the same utility belt and just a black cap to go along with a uh, red firefighter badge and the back of his utility belt and as you can see both faces are not double sided. Moving on to our third minifigure. Uh, this guy is shabby beard. This kind of face was introduced in the gold mine series where you see he's got like a little mark from hard work there on his uh, head, a little cut or something firefighter helmet, scruffy little beard, and again, same torso and and like just a whole same body actually. And you can see on the back as well, same printing, no double sided face. So moving on to breaking down the set in the background here. It's focused on foreground now, so I might as well show you. We do get these two little mini blockades or whatever you want to call them. So that's about as much as you get for accessories in the set. Let's start with the cab at the front here. So, this is a very basic fire cab. I did a very bad job at that sticker apparently. Um, so you do see the license sticker on the front. That is also a fire sticker there on the top. Very basic cab, six wheels. It does have an attachment for the trailer. It's also got these uh, little pipes at the back, like their exhaust pipes, I would think, and the sirens on top. There are no, oh, the doors actually do work. So the doors do work, they open, and the mirrors move up and down to whatever you want to adjust them to. In order to get the minifigure in, you just pop the top off, you insert your truck driver, and pop the top back on like so as far as it goes for movability if I'll just pull that out of the way a little bit so this is more in the center it moves nice and easy on the tape on the floor so you know all in all it's a nice piece but there's nothing extra special about this cab so moving on to the next part which is the off-road fire truck. This is by far the best part of the set. It can go underwater even though it's not enclosed on the top. I don't get that part. But they advertise the fact that it can go underwater like in real life it would be the type of vessel that would go underwater. You can see there's like a little vent there and also a hose that's supposed to have an end attached to it but I had issues with my hose 
So, I actually don't even think I could find it. So anyway, so I've not got it hooked up, but there is a wire, like a hose that's strong from there right into there. It's hooked up and you can fight the fire that way. So that is where this guy right here sits, fighting the fire, or stands, I should say. And our other firefighter here sits in the front, which is easily accessible for play. If you look at the bottom here, these, all but this wheel, are on special, are just on a little special mechanism. What they did is they basically made it so that these are connected by the little circular technique pieces that allow movement. So actually, they're connected by the same thing that, they're basically connected by those. This whole tire block is connected by a piece like that, which allows it to move, and then what's stopping the movement is this piece up here that when it hits that, it doesn't allow it to move, except for this one, which is stationary for some unknown reason. But so this allows it to kind of be a cool terrain vehicle, like it can really conquer that rough terrain. So that's a really cool feature. You also have two storage compartments, one there with a thing in it. And actually, there's not one on this side, because that's where the hose is supposed to be. So you have one storage compartment, and then, again, sticker, 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 and sticker. So that's about it for this truck. Moving on to the trailer, which is also a unique piece. I can just grab it here. First thing, these go down, and I will show this to you right now. Put these down on the floor, and this little, your uh, off-road vehicle can easily, if I hold this steady, easily drive up and slide right into place. That is what the little red pieces are here for, is to hold it in place and then you'd fold that up at the end. You've also got some antennas for radio signaling and stuff on the roof that are easily, easily foldable down to fit in tight spaces. Um, the trailer does connect to the cab, like so underneath that circle piece is actually supposed to be on the cab, and then it just sits in like that. You also have two stands, so the trailer can rest on its own, which I'll show you right now. Makes it easy, it makes it level as opposed to a second ago when they were down and it was leaning forward slightly. So that's another nice little handy nifty feature there. Sticker, sticker, and no sticker on the back. We've also got the sirens on this, as well as that other little truck that I just showed you. And I might as well show you the storage compartment now. This is the kind of the HQ, and the storage compartment is there. So the way it works is the storage compartment stores these two barriers here. They just slide in nicely like that. There you go. So they just sit in there like that. And then in the HQ, you've got your little spinning chair with a computer desk, a bed, and a coffee maker. So a nice little detailed interior. So that's about it, guys, for this set. Hope you found this review useful. As I said, this is a very nice set, but you're not going to be able to find it around because it is discontinued. It's starting to get dark here, so I'm going to end the video here. Hope you found this review useful, guys. It's very play, very fun to play with, very accessible, very usable set. 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.